Oh, look what I'm having. I've got a, a green smoothie. It's got greens plus a banana and some grapes in there. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. I tried something I'd never cooked radishes before, so I wanted to see what they were like. They're okay. They kind of lose some of their flavor cooked. Oh, and I said in my last video I was going to rearrange some of my plants. I did that and I started one new container that should have some red lettuce in it. But I moved the plants so that the ones that have, most of the ones that have the little sprouts in them are closest to the grow light. Of course, I couldn't do that with all of them, but some of my plants that had already grown quite a bit before the grow light are a tangled mess of sprouts. Probably harvest them pretty soon. Not today, but I think that's, if I remember right, that's a gardenia that I um, took a start of, and it's still doing fine. And when these planters were still outside, they had mulch, pine needle type mulch in them, and if the mulch is still in there, I kind of need to weed it out, but it'll happen. Some arugula, the ones that I started, along with ones that were already uh, full, you know, doing good. So that's what my grow light. I went outdoors to see what we still have going. Glendula still look good. Before it got cold, I transplanted some of them, so I only have a few there now. Oh, look inside my hoop tent. You can just barely see it. Some kale that I started from seed and then transplanted into underneath there. It has grown about a couple of inches, so that's a good sign. We've had weather down into the almost low 20s. I had a potato plant that yesterday when I was out here, it looked gorgeous. And I thought, wow, it came up like something I missed. But last night was too much for it. It's all wilty. So, don't know if it'll survive or not. Probably not. And then moving over my... What are we going to look at here next? Strawberries are looking good. And they're, they're used to sur surviving through the winter. Calendula, more the calendula again. That blue thing is just because the plastic was on there weird. Okay, some fennel that I cut down the fennel but left a few little fronds. This isn't the kind that makes the big bulb, so I'm not really sure. We're not, we don't like the the fuzz, the you know, the taste of it. Is. We like the taste, but not the feel of it in our mouth. Asparagus is still um, not all the way back yet. You can see it's getting. Yeah, some of it's still pretty green, and some of it is um, turning really yellow, and and uh, going to bed for the winter. My rosemary still looks really nice. It's a small plant, but it's. Uh, I get the camera positioned right, and then uh, parsley underneath that red thing that you see pieces of there. Um, the picture will come in a minute here. Um, parsley is still doing okay, and there it is. here it comes. But well, maybe. Okay, there we go. Parsley still looking good, and I'll cover it back up. That I did that to protect it from the voles but it seems to be helping it from the weather too. Here is my um, where I put all my food scraps and, and also put some brown greens and browns. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel please like this video and subscribe. You're seeing some photos from outdoors. Um, I love this tree in the in the autumn when right now the tree, if I'd taken a picture today the leaves are mostly gone and our flag doesn't show half staff here but right now it is at 
half-staff because of a shooting, I forget where, somewhere in, I don't remember where. Too many shootings. So, as usual, happy gardening.